Hey guys, this is Goldie again, and in this video, I'll talk to you about Google's Password Vaulted Apps functionality, which is recently launched in October 2019. So primarily, I'll talk to you about three things in this video. Number one, what are password vaulted apps and why should you care? What are some of the features and benefits? How much would it cost you? And then we will move towards how to set up password vaulted apps step by step following the video instructions that I'm going to put in this video. And then finally, I'll talk to you uh, about some watch points that you should be careful when adopting password vaulted apps functionality. So with that, let's get started. So before even we move towards understanding what password vaulted apps are in, in G Suite or in Google's cloud identity, let's talk about the why side of it. Why do we even need those in first place? What are we missing uh, in, in case if we don't have password vaulted apps? So for that, let's take a scenario first. Let's say if your team, maybe your marketing team has any application that they access on daily basis, but that application does not support modern authentication protocols like SAML or maybe OpenID Connect, which means all these people in marketing, let's say 10 people, they have same set of user ID and password and they share those credentials among them. And when they go to that specific application, for example, let's say LinkedIn, they just go there, put their user ID and password and log in. Now, which is, which is okay, because those applications do not support those modern protocols. However, if you look at it, it's not productive. 10 people are going to enter their user ID and password, and it may take them some more time to access that application. And the worst part is that if that application credential is changed, maybe the password is changed, then this password will need to be communicated to all those 10 people right so it, 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 it's not productive and that's what Google password vaulted apps solve so what you can do with password vaulted apps are you can go to your G Suite admin console create a password vaulted application put the credentials and then assign that application to a group of users maybe a marketing group so that whoever is in that marketing group will have access to those applications on their dashboard and all they need to do is just do a one click and then Google via their Chrome extension will detect the page that they're trying to access and because it already had the credentials it will just go and enter the credentials on users behalf which means users will not need to enter them manually so it saves time that's the number one benefit and it also helps G Suite admins manage all those credentials at a centralized place right into your G Suite admin console. So if something changes, let's say if you want to change the password of any password vaulted app, that password will be changed once right into your G Suite admin console. It does not impact those 10 or 15 users who are sharing those credentials. Okay. Another time-saving functionality is that you can assign these password vaulted apps to a set of users via their group membership. So you don't need to do it manually user by user. So if you have, let's say, sales team wants to access a specific application which does not support SAML or OIDC, just create a group in your G Suite or cloud identity put the required sales members into that group and then assign the application to this group. So in future, whenever the group membership changes, that will be repli replicated straight away so that new users will be able to access and the old users will not be able to access. And another good point is that when your users will be leveraging password vaulted apps, those events will be logged, will be recorded in your G Suite reporting section. So you can just go and see which user accessed which specific application via password vaulting so that you can get some more insights there. So to summarize password vaulted apps in G Suite or Cloud Identity, think of them as a password manager like LastPass or Dashlane, but it is managed by your G Suite admin or your Cloud Identity admin. Now let's talk about the pricing. How much would it cost 
you to get that functionality. So Password Vaulted Apps comes in G Suite Enterprise SKU. So if you are running basic or business plan, you do not get that functionality. You have to be either running G Suite Enterprise and you get that functionality or if you are running Cloud Identity Premium, then also you get the Password Vaulted Apps functionality. And I'll link my video somewhere here to differentiate between G Suite and Cloud Identity. But to, to give you just a glimpse, Cloud Identity is Google's IDAS service, Identity as a Service, which will not have access to G Suite license, which means Cloud Identity users, in a nutshell, won't have access to things like Gmail uh, and Hangouts and so on. Okay, so now we understand a few things about Password Vaulted Apps, what they are, benefits, features, pricing. Now let's talk about doing the actual setup in our G Suite Admin Console and allow our users to securely access those applications. So with that, let me share my screen and show you the actual setup step by step. Okay, so let's configure Password Vaulted App. For that, you will log into your G Suite or Cloud Identity Admin Console. And once you're there, we will do that in three steps. Step number one, create a group. So I'll go to groups and I'll create a new group that I'll use for this assignment. And let's call this password vaulted apps like a prefix and then say uh, maybe sales team, okay? And then I will use this for the email address as well. I will click on next. And then ideally you should have it custom and make sure that you know you you do not have uh, uh, rights which are not required for example you do not want external people to be sending emails on this one so you should uh, make it maybe custom and uh, remove the permissions which you do not need on this one I will say only invited users and this should be kept disabled and I'll create the group Okay, once the group is created, let's add some members to it. So let's say, or maybe I can first go to my users and add them from there. So I'll go to users, uh, select few of my users, maybe these four, and let's add these users to the sales group that I created. So I have the sales group populated with the members. Second step is to create a password vaulted app. For that you will go to your menu and then you will go to apps. Under apps you will go to password vaulted apps. If you do not see it, the reason might be that you're either running G Suite Basic or Business which does not provide that functionality. So you should be running G Suite Enterprise or Cloud Identity or you do not have enough administration privileges so if you go to uh, accounts and then admin roles you will see that password vaulting is actually dedicated privilege so if I go to privilege here and if I scroll down a bit you will see password vaulting so if you do not want to give a super admin rights to anyone you may you maybe you know create a new role call it password vaulted uh, role and then assign this dedicated permission I already uh, have super admin rights that's why I see it and I'll go to password vaulted apps from here and here I will click on add app and then you will search for the application so I will search for LinkedIn and I see it and let's say LinkedIn sales navigator I'll configure it name is fine I'll click on add app and then it will ask me for two things. One is assignment, one is credentials. So first, let, let's add credentials. You will click on this plus icon and you will enter the credentials. So let's say LinkedIn Sales Navigator. I'm gonna enter my email address for LinkedIn here and I will enter my password. I'll click on save. So I have added these credentials. So now if I go back to my app, which is LinkedIn Sales Navigator, I'll see one credential here, which I just entered. Now the third or final step is to assign that application to a group. So I will click on, under assignment card, I will click on assign to groups, 
and then I will find the group that I created it was PW PBA sales and it shows me all the users who are in this group so once I click on grant access it will be assigned to all of these users however in case if you have nested groups for example under PBA sales you have another group that group will also have access to the specific application so just uh, point to be cautious so now when you click on grant access you will be presented with a couple of options and let me help you understand those individual credentials if you choose this one this essentially means that you are assigning the application to the group of these users when these users will land to their G Suite dashboard when they click on that application icon they will be presented with a pop-up where they will put the credentials so it's like you are just giving them the application but they will put the user ID and password however if you use the second option where you will be providing credentials which is the case that we are working on so here I will choose the credential that I just created in step number two and I will click on save and this one is uh, for use cases where you will be using the same credential for all uh, the members in the group so I'll click on save and this has been saved now let's create one more application under password vaulting we'll create one more app and uh, this time we will just assign the application and let the user put the credentials so maybe uh, let's say Costco I'm not sure why am I choosing this one but uh, let's do that so Costco we will be assigning this application uh, we are not going to enter the credentials here because I want my users to be entering their own credentials so I'll just go ahead and assign this one so let's say PBA sales the same set of users should have access to this one and this time let tell Google that this should be entered by users themselves Costco save it okay so this is done and as we can see in our password vaulted apps we have LinkedIn sales navigator and Costco now let's log in as one of those users to see how will the user experience look like so for that I'll go to this URL that's called G suite dot google dot com slash dashboard so it's G suite dot google dot com slash dashboard and that's where you will see all the applications that are assigned to logged in users so I'm gonna enter my credentials here the username is ci.goldero.com and I'm gonna enter my password real quick here and once I log in here you will see a couple of things you will see the other applications which are assigned to this user because this user is part of another groups where I have applications assigned like SAML applications etc and you also see LinkedIn Sales Navigator and Costco these are the two applications that we assigned uh, to this user you do not see G Suite applications here because I did not assign G Suite license to, to this user if I do you will see Gmail and Drive and all those application icons right here too now at the top you will see that it is the first time this user logged in and it's asking the user to install the cloud identity account man manager extension which will detect the login pages of these vaulted apps and will enter credentials on user behalf I will install uh, manually for now as a user but you have an option to push this extension as an admin right from your G Suite admin console so the first time any user logs in with the G Suite or cloud identity email address that extension will be pushed to that browser so for now I'm gonna install it manually and this is installed if I click on that it is uh, taking my email address it's signed in so for now I'll just do a quick refresh here and now I want you to pay attention I'm gonna click on LinkedIn sales navigator and because my admin has entered the credentials on my behalf I really it should not ask me to put the credentials again rather it should just make me log in so let me click on that and see what happens here you will see I see the page credentials were entered and we are logged into LinkedIn Sales Navigator which is great 
Now let's take an example of the other application which is Costco where our admin did not enter the credential however it is assigned to us and see what happens when I click on that it is asking me to enter my credentials because that's what my G Suite admin uh, chose so I'm gonna quickly enter my uh, email address and password here and this is the first time so that so I will just need to do it once and once you do that then onwards you can have access to that application at one click now I'm sure you might have paid attention to this but if you're a user and you're putting credentials here your G Suite admin can see the that specific password so be cautious and enter the password only if it's a corporate application so now when I click on Costco and hopefully I should be signed into Costco and I am in okay so now let's go back to our G Suite or Cloud Identity Admin Console and we will go to Reports to see the logs. Let's go to Audit under Reporting section and then here you will see that there was a separate uh, subject on this one which is Password Vault. If I click on that one it will show me all the logs including that as an admin we created the LinkedIn sales application uh, and then it also shows the user side logs which is that user accessed Costco application, user accessed LinkedIn sales navigator application along with the timestamp. You can also filter these here uh, if you want and then you can also download the logs if required. So with that let me show you a couple of uh, watch points uh, which should be noted or which should be paid attention when you are trying to adopt this Google password vaulting apps functionality. <music> Now there are a few watch points. Number one, that it only works with Chrome and Firefox as of December 2019. So please keep that in mind. Number two is, let's understand the behavior in case if those target applications that your users are trying to access would have, let's say, multi-factor authentication. If that's the case, Google's Chrome extension will detect the web page or the login page will put the user ID and password and then you will go to the next step which is to put the second factor code or whatever mechanism you have for multi-factor and that will be done by the user who is trying to access number three whenever your employees or whenever your users who had access to those password vaulted applications are leaving, make sure that you remove those users from the group. And also, if required, go to target application, change the password, come back to your Google password vaulted app to that specific application and change the password here as well. Now, fourth one, very, very critical, is that you should not allow your users to use any other password managers. So for example, if you are uh, using Chrome as your enterprise browser, you should disable uh, the password manager which, which comes in Chrome and you can do that in your G Suite admin console. And then it, do not allow things like LastPass or, or other password managers because when Google extension will enter the password for those applications, these password managers will show a pop-up saying, do you want to save the password? And if these users are going to say yes, those passwords will be saved in their browsers or in those password managers. You do not want to do that. So make sure you restrict that installation of password managers or restrict the Chrome password manager. And by the way, just in case if you're not a video person, you prefer like text instructions with screenshots, I'll link my guide, which I'm gonna publish on my blog post if you wanna access and follow the steps there. So with that, I hope it was helpful. If you have any questions, comments, feedback, or maybe if I did something that was not right, do not hesitate to put the comments or feedback under this video, and I will be happy to collaborate. Thank you so much.